Microsoft already got the opportunity to feel old while watching young people test drive their 90s software. And guess what? Now it's Apple's turn. Don't you love that sound? Come along as we take another trip back in time and see if our diverse user group here at Linus Media Group, both Windows heads and Mac heads alike, can wrap their heads around um, some of Apple's darker year decisions. And let's see if you can wrap your head around this segue to our sponsor. Cable Mod. Cable Mod has teamed up with Fantex to provide the perfect cables for the Fantex Revolt power supply. Learn more at the end of the video. That's actually a pretty fast boot process. Emily got this Macintosh LC475 from Brian the Electrician a few years ago. And the eagle-eyed among you might have noticed that it is the same Mac that we used for our Photoshop VFX challenge video. Nothing has changed about the hardware here, but we should probably quickly go over it just, you know, for historical context. Powering this retro workhorse is a 25 megahertz Motorola processor, four megabytes of onboard RAM with a 16 meg stick installed, Woo! and a whopping 512 kilobytes of video memory. In summary, workhorse, yes, powerhouse, not so much, but that was by design. This Pizza Box lineup was the first Macintosh lineup to be sold near a thousand US dollars. And savvy users could upgrade the CPU, the memory, and VRAM, and even overclock them, making these great entry-level machines. Or at least it was when it was first released. For today, we're gonna fast forward to 1996, which is significant for a number of reasons. One, it was the end of this machine's commercial life and the year the final update to System 7.5 was released. So this is it. This is as mature as this thing ever got. Number two, the computer world was changing around it in a big way. DVDs hadn't really gone mainstream yet, but multimedia was already the next big thing with QuickTime and RealPlayer leading the charge. Thanks, of course, to this newfangled thing called the internet that was starting to really take off. Thankfully, System 7 boasted robust new features like multitasking as standard, built-in TCP and IP support, and true type fonts. So let's see how our intrepid youngsters get along in this brave new world. Wow, look at this beauty. Hi, I'm Ariana. Hey, I'm Arthur. I'm the social media manager here at LMG. Hi, I'm Emily. Uh, I'm one of our video editors here. Hello, my name is Sammy. Uh, I'm a PC guy. Uh, how good am I with PCs? Not really. <laughs> the oldest Mac that I used was the Blueberry Macs uh, at my elementary school when I was like, whatever, six or seven years old. I have been a PC user basically all my life until a couple of years ago. When it comes to Macs, I've dibbled and dabbled here from time to time, but I'm usually a PC user. It was only Windows in my house. Little worried about this one. It's not that I'm so young I've never seen this, it's that I'm so barely ever used a Mac that I've never seen this. I already was just sitting here playing with it, trying to figure out why I keep clicking this and the menu goes away. Gotta hold it down. Hit me with my first challenge. Your first task is to try out text to speech. That was Apple's killer app for the original Macintosh. Wait, why is it so hard to find stuff on this? It is on the screen right now. No way, I, <laughs> I think I'm being pranked. I downloaded something, oops, okay. Holy crap, you couldn't have come up with something easy. Okay. No, 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 no. No, I'm gonna do it. Okay, well the only thing that m I would think is related is simple text. Text to speech. What's going on in here? Do you see this? <laughs> Whoa, I haven't seen one of these since elementary school. I think it's crazy. Yourself. I remember we, I think we had one of these in my library. Are you well, just here to like destroy the shoot or something? Should I just like back always. off? Or... Okay. Always. All right. Recent applications. Simple text. W would that be it? Oh come on. Did I cheat a little there? I feel like I did. That was a bit of a cheat, but it's okay. Don't okay. worry about it. We'll we'll play with it. How do I make the computer? Re yes, yes, yes. Help. Speak all. Hi. I got it. That's amazing. Okay, wait, let me switch it to bad news. I want to okay. hear what bad news sounds like. Hello. <laughs> I hope you are having a wonderful Friday. Now I want you to change the desktop background. 
stickies. No, 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 no. Look at him, he's so controlling. <laughs> I can do this for sure. I'm pretty sure I learned some stuff before. Control panels, yeah, 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 yeah. Desktop patterns, let's go. Uh, wait, what? The, sure, whatever, there. Done, done, record time. Okay. <laughs> David, pick a number between 174. 69, duh. Okay, well. <laughs> it's so ugly. <laughs> the bears, yay. <laughs> It's terrifying. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Nightmare bears. Like rocks. These, these rocks, that was hard. That would have been cool to that have. That's rocks. a picture. One thing you might not have noticed is that when you closed simple text, you didn't actually close it. Where would you go to find it? So like oh, app no. switcher. How would you switch apps? Where the heck is that? If it was a PC, I would do alt tab, but that is not working. Yes. I figured it out already. You you kind of did. Yes! Got yeah. him. Although you were told that by the help, so that's again. No, no, I found this. I found the top right thing. Yeah, because every time I've hit a button, I see it like zoom into that one corner. So I figure there's something here. I'll quit. Follow the quit. Write a document with formatting. Okay. Um, okay, so everything seems to be under this Apple icon right here. What's the Mac equivalent of Word? Well, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, never mind. But I should style this though. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh no, oh, oh no. Scrapbook. What? That sounds fun. This is just, wow! a, it's just a big <laughs> clip art repository. Oh, well now. To write good, you first must take some English classes. It's not Adobe Acrobat, that's for PDFs, right? A new document. I am going to win this challenge. Maybe you've taken some. Okay, we got it. In your high school slash elementary school. Everything's pretty recognizable. It's cool to see how word processing hasn't really changed over the years. Okay, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> this isn't working. <laughs> We're no, doing it. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Designer. Okay, and then how do we get the, we need so to get, we get the, bold. yeah, and then we need to get the picture in. Oh my gosh. You're dragging too far. Yeah, I realize that. There! Yeah. I'm saying quit simple text. Oh. <laughs> now, try out kid pics. Oh yes. The sounds of kid pics. Take me back. You're gonna wanna turn that down a bit. No! Are you sure? No, 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 no. Are you no, sure? Good stuff. <laughs> How do I know that was what you're going to do? <laughs> you're not even the first person to do that today. Wait, am I not? Oh, no. am I not original? This is my NFT. Wow, I'm really good at making art. I'm gonna make a tree. Oh, it it just, it drops a whole tree wherever you click. This oh, whoa, it's the, the dinosaur. <laughs> it was such a noisy app and it was wonderful. It was just this din in the computer lab. David, do you want to watch Fishbowl or Ghost? Ghost, baby. Ghost. <laughs> okay, this is getting quite abstract now. Yes! M. <laughs> a. <laughs> this is the new MAC address logo? Yes. Yes! I gotta add a dinosaur. There we are. Wow. Games, let's go. Oh, incredible machine. Yes. Wow, we have some options here. Duke Nukem 3D. Jigsaw puzzle, does that count? I guess. Where are you going? Oh, was it in there? Everybody does that. <laughs> okay, now how do you play? Holy, I can barely see anything. The resolution is like non-existent almost, okay? Can I, can I be honest? I've actually never played Doom in my life. Really? Yeah, so this is my very first time ever. How do I shoot? <laughs> oh. Wow, this Ooh, looks that's so amazing. pretty. What is, this is, what did I miss out on all my life? This will jump? Huh? Can I jump? Oh. <gasps> oh no, he scratched me. Oh, you gotta watch out oh, for those I things. died. You died because <laughs> <laughs> This tiny window is driving me nuts. Here's some cheese and a mouse. Oh, there's still no floor. All right, we're going through every key. Oh God, wait, where'd my gun go? 
Oh, God. oh, oh no, I lost my gun. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> this is the challenge. Can I make it up the stairs? Did I? And you've just completed the first level of Doom. Wow, 100% kills. I'm a gamer. You know, I don't think I've ever seen anybody legitimately die. Wait, on, really? Uh, E1M1. No! No, well, this is the first time for everything. <laughs> How about we browse the internet? Okay, let's do that. Well, that's gonna be Safari, obviously. Oh, wait. Safari yet? Netscape? You, what did you use to browse the internet? No, you're going back there again. <laughs> I can't help it. Is it in here somewhere? Okay, this, this came up before I was born, so. Netscape Navigator. Welcome to the internet of 1996. This is really exciting. 96, this doesn't exist. No, LTTstore.com? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Did we make this? What is this? Is that Hillary Duff? Is this, what am I looking at? Oh, wow. <gasps> wow! Oh, I was so jealous of people who had that phone. No, you can't do that. Oh, I have to enter a whole URL? Google <laughs> HTTP <laughs> colon slash slash. HTTP, but okay. Wow. Wow, this is ugly. <laughs> what a great web design. Oh my goodness. Where do we go? What should we do? Go to behind the gym. All right. Oh. One triple eight NCIX 888 right there, baby. A thousand dollars will get you 32 megs of RAM. Well, how is your experience with the old Mac? Would you like to go back to it? I, it, it's, it's hard to say that I would like to grow up with it because obviously my experience with um, computers was a lot smoother. You were able to do a little bit more. I feel like at the end, I kind of got the hang of it a little bit more. Would you want to use a Mac like this? No, I still would not <laughs> want to. <laughs> um, All right. That was chaotic. Thank you. <laughs> I hope it works out. I Thank hope you for your help. Oh, no problem. The fun part about this is that I have it set up to automatically uh, proxy through the Internet Archive. Ah. So everything is as close to 1996 as it could be. I see. Uh, there's another browser that is not set up to do that. iCab, oh, yeah. which you can try, lttstore.com. I don't know about that. Okay, too old to support HTTPS. Notice is getting old? These segues to my sponsor. CableMod! There's nothing better to look at than impeccable cable management. Other than you, of course. <laughs> you beautiful beast. But if you want help with your cables, CableMod and Fantex have teamed up to provide custom length CableMod cables for the Fantex Revolt power supply. The power supply comes without cables, so you can purchase the exact cables you need from CableMod, so you only pay for the cables you'll use and don't end up with a box full of mysterious cables like your dad. And if you're using a Fantex case, check out CableMod's configurator tool on their website. It's got the most popular Fantex cases built right in to help you take the guesswork out of determining exact cable lengths. Visit CableMod at the links below and pick yourself up some custom cables today. If you guys enjoyed this video, go check out the one where our whippersnappers tried out Windows 98, some of them for the very first time. <laughs>